Determine the quality of your stream. Oh no. I think I think we're yeah we're live okay we're actually live. <sighs> hello hello. Hello, I should probably talk to you here. Hello. Hi, it's a stream night. Randomly. I say randomly. Not like I did in like partially premeditate doing this. Slash premeditate doing this for about a month. And said, hey, I might not stream for a while, but I'll at least do some ring fit on the on Thursdays. As far as my normal workout day and and I proceeded not to. Because in all aspects outside of fiscal, I am a problem. Oh, uh, yeah, I took a picture. I have to leave that later. <laughs> what pictures are you taking? All right, I press it. Haha. <laughs> oh. I'm just gonna chat. Well, I should turn this so I can. So it actually points at me while I talk. There we go. So yes, hello. It's been it's been a while since I've done an actual stream. I have been playing this on my own time. Just. Just again, I've not been streaming it. Just or I've not been streaming because I'm trying to work on something special, but. I figured I'd break down tonight and actually just, oh right, the wheel function. I figured I'd break down, at least tonight, stream for a change, because I'm, yeah, I've just, a responsibility. Not even a responsibility, just the, oh, I'm level, I'm almost level 200. Stretch it out. But yeah, I should say, like, straight. even though I've not been, uh, Three, two, what is it? One, go. Alternate bringing your knees up to touch the ring con. Be careful not to hit the ring con against the leg strap. But yeah, even though I've not been. Last time. Yes, just like know, that. Streaming yes, this. It's a heel lift stretch. Every Thursday, I have at least Bring been sticking to my workout regimen. Up toward the ring con. This stretch targets your lower back. Last time. Yes, looking great. Yeah, I've been sticking to my workout regimen at the very the least, so I've been. Stretch. Take a big you know, step forward. At least. Taking care. Focus on of my health and, and exercising. Arms. Just that you guys haven't been seeing it because this stretch works your core as well. There's just been many nights when I've come home from work on Thursday and Let's just like I can't. Page. My brain does not want to do, so I will not make All right. do. Good. Finally, but spread your feet. tonight's different. Raise the ring because even though above your I have things I need to do, I feel like I'm in a place now where most of what I need to do. For the thing, this I can accomplish 
on weekends. On weekends and the time Let's I'm going to get off of work week. coming up in the next few weeks. So. Great job. That's a, that's that. So. I'm not saying I can. I'm not saying I can like continuously stream going forward yet, but I did tell you guys when I started working on the extra stuff, when I started working on the extra video, that I need to take time away from Ring Fit or away from streaming. But we're almost to the point where I can start streaming regularly again. For one reason or another. Alright. Oh. I left myself with a bad case of additional stuff to do. Alright. Excuse me. Oh god. I should not have come out of my mouth, yet here we are. Also, what am I on for... Oh, we want time. For now, we want time. Overhead this is all the aerobics that is. Oh, I just saw mountain climbers. Shake your hips. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. Big, big, you know, wide motion. I can't, I really can't do it any more. I can't sway my hips any further. Okay. Holy crap, come on. Okay, I can hear I can hear my sound a little bit. That's more than I normally do though. Oh well. Move super energetically. Right, left, 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 right, left. Use a full range of motion for maximum effect. You know what's sad is I had an energy drink earlier today, and even with that, I still feel low in energy. <sighs> oh well, I'll get working through this and then I'll suddenly, I'll probably pep up in a few minutes. Okay, let's move. Open your chest up and raise your arms. Although I haven't done wide okay. squats in a while, so this is probably gonna suck. Yes, yes, excellent, very nice. Keep it up. Great. All right. Awesome. Fantastic. Amazing. <sighs> I hope everybody's having a good night tonight. Fine work. Amazing. I hope everybody's kind of well done. waiting to have a uh, good holiday. Literally in a week. <sighs> okay. My holiday is gonna exist. Okay. Contrary to what I've been saying on Twitter, just. Not as grand as I thought. Hello, Poisson. Fantastic. Shark. Okay. Uh, I 
I might be. You don't know this. Ignore the ignore the title of the stream. It's definitely not. It's definitely not a. It's definitely not alluding to anything at all. Well, and not exactly yes. fit yes. for Christmas, but are you getting ready for Christmas, Croissant? You got your holiday cheer ready to go? Very nice. Ready to go abduct okay. a mall Santa? Wait, nothing? No, you heard nothing? Yeah, it's kind of wild. I almost made it through the whole set without stopping. Oh, I know that pain croissant. I can explain in greater detail if you want to. I've already gone over most of this on Twitter. But I know that. It's literally just gonna be me and my dad for Christmas this year for varying reasons. So I feel that. I should mention I have four siblings and seven nephews, yes, four siblings, seven nephews, and just because of how of everything going on with the world and personal things that have been going on as well, it's just going to be me, me and my dad. Which I was worried I was going to be alone for Christmas actually. But it turns out my dad didn't go, didn't take the trip with my mother. So, Great. Three. I, won't, I mean, I won't lie, I was a little bummed out at first, Good job. thinking I was going to be alone Amazing. for Christmas, but hey, well kind of done. as you said, One left. not going to be alone at the very least, right like on. I said, Perfect. I won't... I won't divulge details because it's kind of a sap story, but if you care, I can go into it. Um, my day? My day was a little hectic. Also, I'm probably going to be a little folks in this, so give me a second. But yeah, my day has been a little bit hectic. Uh, at work, we, uh... At work, we've had uh, various departments are starting to slow down because the Christmas rush is over. But our department is still bumping. So we've had people from other departments come to our department. And because of that, and what I do in my work place of work, I was kind of moving all over the place. Today at work, kind of in a mad rush, so to say. Oh, I haven't done these in forever. I'm gonna hate myself, aren't I? But yeah, today was at work was kind of chaotic, but it's over, and my mandatory overtime for Christmas draws to a close this Saturday. Basically, when our shipping department is done for the day, when our shipping department is done for the day on Saturday, I get to go home. <laughs> and that's it. That's the Christmas rush over. All right. Upper 
watching and I made almost the whole set. Well, I do miss it. I do miss sitting and chilling at home. But the extra money for overtime is great too. I'll finish that topic in a second. Um, oh, okay, give me just a minute to catch my breath. Huh. But yeah, it'd be nice to get my weekends back for various reasons, but I will miss that overtime pay because, hey, Guess what all the overtime work got me? It got me paying off my car in full. I now, as soon as it's processed, I officially own the vehicle I bought three years ago. Only problem is, cars, cars starting to get to a point where investing in it has, is going to start costing more than my, than my initial loan price. So I probably will be buying a new car sometime next year as well. <laughs> but uh, car loans. How it works is let me use this do this. Let me use this excuse to catch my breath. Also, Kasai, I see your thing about the journey. I'll answer it in a little bit. How car loans work is you go to them and say, hey. I would like to own this car. Can we set up something where I pay monthly to X loan or loan holder or lo loan house pay X amount of money each month to pay off to ha to have the car until it's completely paid off? Yeah, that. And basically, I basically started off with owing 6k for my car and over three years I am going to be paying it off entirely meaning I don't have to I don't have to owe anything for the, having the car I just get the car now like it is, I owe no money on it it is mine to do whatever I want with regardless if I trade it in or not so it's like partial ownership leads to full ownership Anyway, like scissors time. Cross your legs firmly. Oh, this. Uno, dos, All you're gonna see is my feet. Dos, uno, dos, so, uno, dos, yeah, Kasai, to answer your question, uno, dos, my adventure's going good. I have not been on the adventure dos, part of this game uno, for some time. Dos, this will target your ass. I've just been doing custom uno, courses dos, uno, and uh, sets. Dos, but I am in World 22 right now, or I guess this place is called Hades. So I'm in Hades, about halfway through that area. And I looked at my stats right as I started the, today's stream. I'm at level 198. I'm almost at level 200. An illustrious club to join, no, to say the least. <coughs> Excuse me. Super Ashitaba smoothie. I shouldn't be burping, like full disclosure, I should not be burping, but also full disclosure, it was snack time. It was snack time, I was hungry, so I had about half a bag of these. 
which it's gonna be backwards, but uh, coffee M and M's. Damn it! And now, and now I just get do what I want. They have for a while. Yeah, they have for some time. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, still catching my breath. Wow. They have had them for some time now, but the you but they uh what is it? It was like uh God, what is it? Like four years ago now? They had the MMs was doing the Calais thing of choose the flavor. I'm not sure about honey and coffee. Let me let me circle back around to that because I they were having like a choose a flavor thing, and they were all peanut M and M's based, but the choices were honey, chili, and coffee. And coffee won out in the end, but it seems like they're doing it almost every year. Like apparently they had one year where toffee won. This is one of the years where I was on my diet, so I did not eat candy whatsoever, so I couldn't weigh on that. And apparently they had another one recently where now they've got crunchy mint. Like it feels like it's the crispy M and M's, but with mint flavoring. Uh, yeah. Honey and coffee. Eh, it was more or less the flavor of it, but it was a little spicy too. But coffee and honey. I could see it as a replacement for sugar in your honey, or sugar in your coffee, but it would only be like, you know, like half a teaspoon, and then otherwise it all just sits at the bottom of the coffee, I feel. I feel like the coffee would not hold the honey very well. It could be a good taste, but it should be the right kind of honey. Like I had to throw the I had to throw it out because it was turning rock solid, but I had some uh, chili honey. Uh, chi or was it chili? Yeah, chili honey or uh, it was. It's just called spicy honey, but basically, it's honey that that's made where the bees pollinate with chili peppers, and that's how they give it its flavor. Very good stuff. Unfortunately, it goes bad after about a year because of the chili part of it, not because of the honey part. I'd say a year, about three years. But yeah, like, not to sound like I'm being hoity toity, but chili honey, or uh, spicy honey, is. Spicy honey is kind of like a. Uh, has kind of become a something you use for charcuterie okay, for, uh, let's spreads. Move. Exhale as you raise your like, uh. Or cheese boards, you know, uh, salami, deli meats like that, Good job. things of that sort. Very nice. I need to lower. Awesome. Okay. Perfect. Great. Amazing. Yeah, dumbbells. Like they're the small ones, but they have a lot of flavors. Nice. Well, unfortunately, I'm not a huge fan of lollipops. Fantastic. Wonderful. Although I will, uh... Great. Nicely done. Spicy honey bark. You know what? Okay. Doesn't sound that bad. Mix it with like a brown sugar. Mix some honey or some spicy honey with a brown sugar barbecue base. That sounds pretty good, actually. Also, it's time for the foot camera. I hope you missed this. All right. Also, I say it a lot, but if you guys want to exercise one with me, feel, well feel free to. Sharp. Just remember, I'm playing on difficulty 30, so this is not. Don't do everything Check. I can unless yes. you physically, unless your body can physically handle it. Fine work. 
Oh, I got bad. I got bad memories about Dragon Fruit. Excellent. Amazing. Let me tell you that story as soon as I get back up from this. Also, it's a story that involves yes. adult beverages. By adult beverages, I of course mean alcohol, so be wary. This story does talk about alcohol. Right. Good job. Nice. Okay. Well done. Five more. Hey, rhythm games are a good thing to be addicted to besides. Rhythm games have rhythm games have evolved beyond simple taps. So, it's, it's a very great. great genre to get lost in. Hell, No Straight Roads came out this year, and that's a rhythm game. Okay. By all technical Let's means. Also, excuse me one second. <laughs> Sorry. All right. There was something at the back of my nose that was... Just tickling at it. <laughs> Is that Dagrox? That's Dagrox. Dagrox, I will get to your your bit in just a second. There's other things I was talking about. So the story I was going on about Dragon Fruit. Dragon Fruit. Dragon Fruit is probably tasty, but my first experience with it, with it was a was a Bacardi, aka vodka, shot, dragon fruit shot. Actually, no, I didn't have the shot, but everybody who did have the shot was miserable. Excuse me. Every single person who took a shot of that was tossing cookies into the to the porcelain gods, we'll, we'll uh, coin it lightly, within half an hour. Anyway, Sephiroth. So here's the cool thing about Sephiroth. A a oh, I didn't select it. Haha, <laughs> me smart. Um, here's the cool thing about Sephiroth. Also, yes, I am saying it with, ger with terrible Japanese flair. Is that a purpose? Maybe. Um, the thing is, that was a hell of a reveal. I think I said on on various uh, on various occasions the week leading up to his announcement on various on various uh, Discord servers on the week leading up to his announcement I said I said whoever is going to get announced coming up especially because this they had just tweeted that they're, they're announcing it at the Game Awards I said whoever is getting announced needs to be somebody that has a world-shattering impact like Joker did. And other than the three people who got viral off of Se off of not knowing who Sephiroth is, I'm pretty sure his announcement was earth-shattering. Because you would never think, huh, you would never think that with how Square has been, you think with how Square has been with with Smash Brothers and everything, that it's kind of been like a, uh, it's been difficult to get the inclusion of anything else Final Fantasy or Square into the game, specifically Final Fantasy. You know, we all thought, okay, Final Fantasy, Cloud, no no English voice, two songs, memes, and then Sephiroth happened. <laughs> it's like, okay, so let's just shatter the expectation that Square is stingy with their IPs. I shared the expectation that. That's, yeah, that shared the. That, uh, shared the expectation that Square would have more reps uh, from their beloved franchise. And yeah, just, again, shattered most expectations.
Oh, I have. I okay. I have played a little bit of the rhythm mode of this game since uh since the last time we've talked. Well, since I've streamed rather. The rhythm game mode. If you're doing, I think it's if you're doing l uh, leg focus stuff, it works fantastic. If you're doing arm focus stuff, hit and miss. <laughs> I should say arm and core focus stuff. It could it could just be the fact that my uh, I'm having I know for a fact I am having Joy-Con drift. Like confirmed, I know I'm having Joy-Con drift with this with this game and or my system. And I'll talk about that in a minute if you guys want to know more. But next, let's do a pendulum bend. Okay, let's go. This will focus on your wings. Excellent. <laughs> nice. Uh, but yeah, rhythm games. Okay. Keep it My up. obsession with rhythm games actually started well when DDR sure. became the big craze for the first time Good back in like 2003, 2004. Amazing. Like I played DDR with a friend. He got it for his ex, his, his uh, old brick Xbox, the Duke Xbox, I'm gonna call it. He got that, and we played DDR for a solid two hours the first first time I went over, and then for like every other time I went over to his place, we played for an hour. And then we learned about we learned about a a DDR computer. Fan Perfect. game, uh, Step Mania, or, Very nice. yeah, Step Mania, awesome. I think it's Step Mania, on Very PC, which is still going, by the way, Sharp. Well done. Keep it up. and then I played Guitar Hero, Great. and then, and then I think Great. Rhythm Wonderful. Heaven was kind of where it's like, oh yeah, Rhythm Games are my jam. Also, excuse me. Apparently, I'm just a gassy boy tonight. My apologies for any of the gross sounds coming from me this evening. I'm straining myself, so yeah. So it's to be expected, right? I think it's, well, let's see. I think in terms of villain recon, uh, recognizability, you are correct, Dr. Croissant. Dr. Eggman is kind of, is up there. And if I think about any other long staying villain in video game history, it, like, overall thinking of video game villains, like, Eggman is my number two, just because I've played so much Sonic. But Sephiroth is like a number three. But not everybody is a huge fan of Sonic. You have to keep in mind. As the three cool kids will say, not everybody is Gaga for Sonic. Excuse me. Also, I'm going to say it now, I don't know when this goes into effect, but I will say, um, I, I use the word liberally, but I'm going to avoid, avoid using the S word, not the curse word, because I will say shit. <laughs> the other S word that apparently is not approved of on Twitch, I'm going to avoid saying it. But just avoid using the S word. I can't even like give example, the example I want in my head. A cart, a, a thirty-year running cartoon series, Sons. You get it. Apparently, words of that nature are now tr uh, triggerable offenses on Twitch. So, though I use the word in a joking sense, I'm going to avoid using that word myself. You guys should probably do the same just to be safe. But I'm not you, and I can't control how you speak. Speak how you will say.
also Boomer Sands? Nah. I don't think Sephiroth is Boomer Sands. Sephiroth is like... Sephiroth, I feel like, is the genesis of the bad guy that doesn't care at all until he's like 10 feet from his victim. He's the genesis of that villain archetype. And now, keep in mind when I say this, I haven't played Final Fantasy VII, I've only seen it through the eyes of others, but... Um... Okay, no follow-up. But yeah, like, um... From what I know, Sephiroth was like the... He was the beginning of, hey, I don't care what you do, I have ulterior motives in my life. Yes, that. A tough one, but you can do it. Um... If you want to read up more on it, uh, go to Twitch's Twitter page or something like that if you want to learn more. Because I'm not going to say the words examples, either. TOS bannable offense, apparently. Uh, but yeah. From what I know about it, Sephiroth was... Sephiroth was banning these people. Hold on. Oh, there it is. Yes. Okay, that's kind of what's okay. So now I have that. Let me let me tap back over to my uh, better view of everything. My apologies. So. I gotta, I gotta look back to the chat. But yeah, like, every time you see Sephiroth in the game, in Final Fantasy VII, up until, like, the Northern Cave, I guess is what that area is. Thank you, Sakurai Presents. Up until the Northern Cave, or when you find the Genova Reactor, or whatever that's called, Sephiroth doesn't care about you, or anything you're doing. And it's like, the moment you, fought, you get to that point in the adventure, then he cares about what you're doing, because he's almost won. So Sephiroth is the genesis of that villain archetype. At least that's just my opinion. Also, there's the other thing, Quisson. That's the other thing I was trying to think of that you helped remind me. So for villains, it's like, you know, beating a villains, it's, you know, uh, Bowser and then Eggman and Sephiroth kind of tie. And then Wily. Unfortunately, I don't think I don't think Wily has a uh, move set. Really has a move set to go with, which is why he's an assist trophy. But um, Doctor Eggman, there's potential there for him. There's potential for Dr. Eggman, but he would be mech based, you know, similar to how uh, Junior is. Also, of course, ask your question. We're going to Feet Camp. Also, next time I have to do a uh, warrior pose, I'm going to take off my socks because I slide. I'm sliding. Actually, you know what we're taking what we're doing right now.
Uh, so the four Pac-Man ghosts, they're like, I got it. They're like Jesse and James, Team Rocket, where in most situations, they're villains. They're villains with a simple goal of stopping the hero. But push comes to shove, they do become the good guys. So basically, if there's a bigger bad than them that threatens their existence, they'll go, they'll side with Pac-Man if they, if necessary. Um, when I eventually get around to it, at some point in the future, when I do eventually do my Let's Play of Pac-Man World 3, because I want to do a Let's Play of Pac-Man World 3 at some point. And that game is the biggest example of it, of, what is it, Pac-Man World 2, the ghosts were... You're going to hear me say that in a second. <laughs> so, like, you know, Pac-Man World 2, the ghosts were against Pac-Man under the rule, under the under the gaze of Spooky, a.k.a. the bigger ghost, who is their master. But Pac-Man World 3, and I forget who the big bad in that game is, for whatever reason, that's threat. That's more threatening than Pac-Man is, so like, okay, we're working with you, Pac-Man. Anyway, it's time to leg raise the Stark Stepper. Also, the socks are off. So there will be, there will be gamer feet. Okay, let's go. Oh no, go. gamer feet, rise! Try this, work your core. Yes! Yes! Fantastic! Neat! How scandalous. Nice. But yeah. Fine work! But the fun, but the Bye. weird thing about that series is, um, Excellent. I kind of want to start from the beginning. So I found a, I found a copy of the original nice. Pac-Man World, and all that three-part narrative series of the Pac-Man World series, or Pac-Man World Trilogy, I do want to go through that whole trilogy at some point on my YouTube channel. Nice. But I've never played Pac-Man World. So I'll get a crash course on the first game in the series and move on from there. And I played the ever-loving crap of okay. Pac-Man World 2 and 3. So... It'll be interesting. Keep it up. Yeah, I found a Great. I found a physical copy Nicely of it done. for the, the for the PS1. So that's the version I'll be playing. Okay. Fantastic. Neat. Sharp. Fantastic. Amazing. And I don't know what the first game is like. At all. Good job. I don't know if it's just a glorified maze muncher. Or if it actually is like Pac-Man World 2 where it's got actual level progression. And mazes are a bonus feature. Well done. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Alright. Challenge yourself. Also, in terms of plans, okay. like all that vault did a little bit. Neat. You got it. Like all that vault did a little bit, but uh, Come on. I want to play. Fine work. Uh, Ten more. A lot of the Crash games, because I own a lot of the Crash games, just have never played any of them. But the whole thing is, I want to play, like, a majority of the PlayStation One Crash games. So I can build up to doing a Let's Play of Crash Team Racing. Doing the Nitro Field version of the game again, of course, but... Crash Team Racing, even if you don't know anything about Crash, is a fantastic game, and so is the story mode. It and Diddy Kong Racing are fantastic racing games that somehow have a story mode tacked onto it. Alright. Don't push it. Take it if you need to. There was Pac-Man advanced? 
Well, it's Pac-Man the best. Which is just oops. There is no oops. Thank you. Thank you, Cap Laszlo, for the one line I remember. Um. Twist your arms. Although I will say, Pac-Man Championship Edition was also a great, uh, great game and great uh, series. Now, except the PC version of the game was oddly stuttery. Oh, oh, it's a lot. It's a wide boy. I don't have any super wide attacks. Oh no. Like, I will say... Like, for the championship edition games of Pac-Man. Two... Two for a... Two is good for, like, a first go-through and just to see what they improved upon the original. But in terms of how good it is and replayability, just stick with the original Pac-Man Championship Edition. The, the first one is better than the second one, in my opinion. Okay, let's move. Hold it away from your face to aim. Nice. Nice. Okay. Yeah, Fine, well, I told you, you, get, you have access to the internet. <laughs> That's fine. I told you access, more readily access to the internet than I do at this moment, but Excellent. isn't Spooky, like, a recurring villain? Because he is unearthed in Pac-Man World 2. He's unearthed for revenge in Pac-Man World 2, so well making me think he is a villain in Pac-Man World 1. Not sure about main villain, but a villain. Yeah. Also, we don't talk about Pac-Man 2, the new adventures. Pac-Man the new the, nice. 2, the new adventures is dead. Nice. To everybody. All right. Excellent. Very nice. Nice. Increase your pace. Listen. Fantastic. I played that game growing up. Great. Five more. In fact, Very I've got my original nice. copy behind me. I can go get it. Three. If the game will give me a minute to do it. Actually, it will, because it won't care if I position or not for the next thing. It okay, won't certain points. Aaron! Aaron! Okay, you see go. this? You see this? This is poopoo. This is poopoo. physical game wall I will say just for the sake of saying that I can do it um, when we get back to streaming when we get back to streaming okay. quote unquote full time Keep it up. Uh, I have two games I'm going to decide between of what I stream Amazing. more more likely actually three because awesome. I still need to finish the rest of the DLC for Borderlands 2 because Borderlands 2 is taking up enough space on my hard drive that I don't want that it's becoming a problem now. So I would like to finish up all the DLC campaigns so I can remove it from my hard drive. Okay. Um, I need to get back to Bug Fables because that game is fun. That game is a good game, and it's kicking my butt. And I will show off the, show off phys physically what the third game is I would like to play. All right. But that will take a minute to get to because, you know, I'm in the middle of reps. Well you know, Keep quirk it out. Fantastic. Oh my god. I've been streaming for 15 minutes? It feels like I've streaming for half an hour. Well I don't feel like I've been streaming long at all. This is a good and bad sign. Okay. Oh, 
I will say, at some point in the future, I may break down and I may do a side series project on Pac-Man 2, the world event, the, the new adventures. And, yeah. Uh, don't do the app guard yet. So, in terms of third game, this... Okay, it doesn't show up very well in the webcam. So that is the third game I have to cont in contention for when I return back to streaming full-time. Quote-unquote full-time. It is Shantae and the Seven Sirens. Um, I'm going to show the back of the box just because the front of the box is... Well, the back's not any better. Here, we'll do it like this. I waited to get my limited run version of the game. So this is the collector's version of Shantae and the Seven Sirens. But because I had to wait for it, I didn't get that until three months ago? Two months ago? Yeah, I didn't get that. I didn't get my uh, copy of Shantae and Seven Sirens until three months ago. Two to three months ago, I'll say. So I played some of it, but not a whole lot. So playing more of it is on the stream agenda. To the sumo of Dumo. I mean, uh, Russian twist. Russian twist. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Russian twist. <laughs> not sumo of Dumo. Not Mario Party 6. Uh, twist. Twist on it, because I know where you come from. I know where, where, where we have a mutual server. Is it my server? Or is it Charles' server? Either way, I don't care, and I'll see it later. Should be down below the, the uh, should be down below. Or it should be down below the video feed. If I didn't, if it's not working, I'll fix it after stream or something. Uh, I will warn you, Kassant, that I am not PG-13, or I'm not PG, like Charles' server. So there will be a lot more curse words and other things there. There's not full on... M rated stuff or adult only stuff, but yeah. You made it! Stand up. Okay. No need to rush, though. I'm just warning you in advance, because though I moderate for Charles's server, I myself am not PG. Such so is evident by the fact I basically said, flat out said, shit, not even 20 minutes ago. And I've said it again now. I've been mildly worried about that. Like, Charles will do his thing. I'm not against Charles in any regard. But I just don't get why, like, as an overall society thing, why we're so concerned about those specific words so much. Like, I'm pretty sure in, like, you know, Japan or in other countries across the world, saying, saying shucks or fudge is not really considered a problem. In fact, there's a lot of times where children of the same, of young age learn that word by six, save for two weeks, and then they're over it and they're on to another, and they're on, and they don't care anymore. Sorry, that's just me speaking my two cents about, about those words. I unfortunately cannot I unfortunately cannot speak much more on the matter because I am a hip I would be a hypocrite at that point 
because I am already, I am already uh, altering my language for the most part because I do have, like I said, seven nephews. And I don't want to be the one to get the finger pointed at for dropping those bombs. You know, word to your mom, I came to drop bomb. I got more rhymes than the Bible's got songs. Just like the prodigal son, I return. Anyone step into me, they get burned. Because I got lyrics, you ain't got none. And if you want to battle, you better bring a shotgun. <laughs> Anybody looking for the source? On, House run. of Pain, jump around. Yeah, like I. No, watch it not happen because I'm streaming the game. Go nope, on. it's happening right there. Okay, let's fly. See, I'm having Joy-Con drift issues with this game or with my system because even though, Keep pushing me in against even though stuff. I am pointing the controller in a very specific way, I am. Like, even though I point the controller in a very specific way or manner, for whatever reason, the game misaligns me constantly, even though I don't move from this general area, the same one foot square. You know what's sad? I'm not even remotely close to being tired yet. Like right now, I just get misaligned again. Like, I like the skill. um, like here's the thing. I didn't have Joy-Con drift for the longest time with this thing, and I played my Switch a lot. Especially when Ring Fit start, I started having come to Ring Fit. I played my Switch a lot. I didn't have any Joy-Con issues until about a month ago. Now, if I'm playing Ring Fit, especially, I get misaligned. My ring, my ring con gets misaligned, or like I'll be hitting here, I'll be standing like this, and my character will be like, oh! when I have really, really done nothing but press in on the ring con. Um, okay, let's switch and it's a little sporting thing, so we're coming back around. We're, 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 we're rewinding back to that. Now, to let, me finish. let me just say a thought when I get back to not Slowly yoga. Like every person has a phase in their life where they just drop curse words like it's a comma. Some people, that ends up defying their speech patterns. Where if they don't drop a curse word, people think, 
Oh, they didn't curse. Oh no. Oh, they're angry. Oh, they're god. Oh god. But then there's. But then everybody has that phase in their life. And then some people stick with that phase and never evolve their speech patterns. And then some people go. I can get by without using curse words to get my point across. And not to point my, not to tell my own ego, or tell my own ego, but my nephew, the fact that I have seven nephews definitely does help with that fact to kind of guide me to being, I can get my point across without using a curse word. But some people in category A don't understand the English lexicon unless you stick, unless you stick a fuck in there. Scooter out of context. Yeah, like right now, I'm up. There it goes. God. Yeah, it definitely it got stuck on the push game position. But uh, through that, I was stuck on the pushed in motion when I, my recon was all the way out. So that's why I wasn't bringing those boxes for a minute. Scooter out of context. They don't understand unless you stick a fuck in there. I might forget, so I'm gonna go to a. Uh, I'm gonna go to a private. I'm gonna go to a private me-only server, as I use with my notepad between home and work, to remind myself to stick a side project in under the radar. So give me a minute while I do okay, that. Let's switch sides. Don't forget to switch legs. Do, 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 do. How I'm capturing everything right now. The thing I want to put in is in a folder full of. Sorry, I should talk over here. The thing I want to do is to make new folders in my Let's Play archive in my Let's Play folder, which is basically my entire G hard drive, my entire four terabit G hard drive. But that is currently centered in the lower right corner of the stream window, so it'll ruin any surprises I have coming coming up for projects I'm working on. So in the server that I have to myself, I'm going to make these notes of side products to put in. But anyway, as you were saying, well, that's, that, that came up because it reminded me, oh yeah, Disney games, because I've got Disney games in my catalog. I've got a couple Disney games like in the back for Let's Plays coming up, but they're they're so far in the back, they may be like a year out still. So that's kind of why I'm a little eh on it. But yes, we're talking, because Disney came up. Shining, shimmering splendor over our... I don't remember all the words. On a magic carpet ride, a whole new world. A new fantastic point of view. No one to tell us no or where to go. Now I'm in a whole new world with you. Hi, Scooter can sing.
Oh, hi, Lilo. Your name color is the same as Croissant, so I thought Croissant was complimenting me on top, on top of I uh, suggesting the Aladdin song, so to say. <laughs> hi, Rune. With your legs bent slightly, squeeze. Anyway, he's gonna summon. An oh no, he's gonna attack up. Okay, let's collect the skill. Was it? I don't think I could ever find it unless. Oh God. Okay, so before I go on, before I go on, here's the story. So, for our senior year of high school for choir, uh, our final exam for choir senior year is you have to sing, a, is you have to do a solo song performance for this thing that was called, or it was like a, it was like the preparation for the show choir show for the year. Like it was a dry run of the show choir act before we took it to various performances. And as part of your final grade for choir, you had to do a solo of a song on stage in front of people. And I, and it may not seem like enough, I had terrible stage play. Like we're talking, <laughs> we're talking, you know, I'm guessing so. We're talking that level of stage fright. Like I'd rock back and forth in the middle. Even when I got in my groove, I'd rock back and forth, which is a very obvious sign of stage fright. Just I had terrible stage fright. But I remember for that performance, I sung I sung a "God Save the Outcast" from Hunchback of Notre Dame. And yeah, I can't remember any of the words. But I just remember that I. Of any song that I've sung for other people, that was probably one of my favorite songs to sing. But the unfortunate thing with my voice, the unfortunate thing with my voice and the fact that I haven't sung in forever is. A, I'm a bass in my vocal range. So, no, uh, trans, uh, transfiguring uh, lines for bass singing is A, difficult, and B, no one wants to hear it because you're a bass. <laughs> Everybody's all about them tenors and them sopranos, baby, which is why everybody knows about Bruno Mars. That shows you how old I am when the first example I gave you for a tenor is Bruno Mars. And not something from that just came out in the last two years. Now turn your exercise into experience points with a victory pose. Charge your squat power, but don't overextend. Release toward the spindery! Which Little Big Planet game? Because there's Little Big Planet 1 through 3. I think there's a Sack... Oh, the uh, Sack Boys Adventure, the PS5 one. No, no, I'm not saying. I don't like Bruno Mars. In fact, I enjoy a lot of Bruno Mars's. Yeah, that one. I enjoy a lot of Bruno Mars's performances. I like his. I like his music. But that I'm more or less talking about the fact that I'm getting to that, to that point of old where if you ask me for a recent example of thing A, I'm going to go back to something that's probably about 10 years old at this point. I'm getting to that stage of, I'm getting to that stage of life where it's like, where it's like, name, name the best 3D Mario game. Ah, oh, it's, that is Super Mario Galaxy. Oh man, you mean that thing that came out 15 years ago? 15 years ago? That did cut. Oh. Oh, oh my back. Oh, oh geez, my, oh geez. Yeah. Bad bit aside, let's get back into it. <laughs> oh. I don't know if I 
any, have any double ups, actually. I should have checked before I started this, shouldn't I? Uh, oops. Well, not anymore. No. Okay. It was a hilarious bit, but bits aside, bits aside, I've said this many times before, so I apologize for repeating myself for the 700th time while streaming Ring Fit Adventure on my Twitch.tv channel for the internet to view. But I am currently in the best shape of my life, period. <laughs> oh, okay, it does show up. I thought my bit of bot was broken. I was like, oh god, I fixed that. No, it's fine. Like, this is, even though you hear me gasping, this is the best shape I've been in my life. Like, right now. This is the best shape I've been in my life. Even, even like, childhood, I would debate. Even as, as like, a 10-year-old child, this is currently where I am right now, the best shape of my life. I know both songs. Uptown Girl is like an 80s, 90s song, Poisson. Oh god. Are you having the same dilemma? <laughs> but no, like, I think Uptown, you know, Uptown Girl living in the Uptown world, and this Uptown Funk gonna give it to you. Uptown Funk gonna give it to you. Saturday night, we in the light. Don't believe me, just watch. picture of me at like 27, 28. A picture of me at like 27 or 28 with my gut, instead of being flat like it is, net, uh, relatively flat I should say. I don't have a six pack at all. But I mean, from where I am now to when I was at 28, when I was like that, arguably, that kind of difference I should say. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm following now. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, like, I would say... Like, that's the funny thing about the best shape of my life. So here's the thing. My eldest sister, and of course times will change and the statement will probably become false by the time I'm, I'm 40. It just depends upon how my condition to stay fit, I will say. But my eldest sister has been the skinny, healthy child, basically, my, her, basically our entire family's life. She got all the recessive genes from my mother and father to basically make her a stick person. Then there's my other sister, who, much like me, got most of the traits to be wide frame. No matter how much we work out or diet, we will always have a wide frame to us. And she, and she ended up becoming, sorry if you see this, sister, I'm not going to name names. She ended up becoming arguably the least healthy out of all of us. I went from being the least healthy person out of high school in our family to being the second most healthy person, even compared to my brother, who is a year, uh, not even a year younger than me, who who went to state for wrestling and was just solid muscle. And I'm even in better shape now than my other, my younger sister, who used to do five 10K runs until she got married and had kids. 
then again, the general I think the general guideline is once you get married and have kids, all the uh, the cards are off the table and you're kind of stuck with whatever life lot life gives you. you I don't know. I can't be specific. I can't be honest. Or I can't be honest or knowledgeable on that, because you know, forever alone. Okay, I'll chase it down. You got it. As they say, life makes a fool of all of us. Or life makes a fool out of all of us. Or if you don't let it. I didn't check. Dang it. I didn't check if I had double up stuff. Let me check quick, even though I'm not gonna use it anymore. Okay, I don't think I had any double up stuff. No, I do not have any double up materials. You can get more power from a squat by bending the knees. Well, don't extend the pipe to go. No. Thank you for stopping by, Quissant. Have a good night. And if I don't see you before Christmas, Merry Christmas. You did it. Because the way things are going right now, this is probably my last stream before Christmas ah, and potentially my last stream for the rest of the year. Again, entirely dependent upon how that top 10 video goes and how and how much time it takes me to put it out. That's a timeline base for anybody still here. I have I have B-real footage for three of the games on the top 10 list and all the games in the honorable mentions list. I have all the scripts written for every entry. For every part of the video, I should say. And, but I have not done any voiceover work on it, or editing, or live action segments. I might, I might lay low, just cause it's Christmas. I mean, Christmas Eve is Thursday. Thursday being my normal stream day. So I may still do a Ring Fit stream on Thursday, uh, or on Christmas Eve. But most the reason why I haven't streamed more regularly is because I'm working on that top 10 video. And almost all my free time is going to that video. Like, yes, I have some spots where I'm dedicating it to my normal upload schedule on YouTube, of daily uploads. By the way, my, my channel link's in the description. Um, but my daily uploads on YouTube are like taking the forefront of, mo of what I do and then any other time I have beyond that I'm trying to dedicate entirely to that top 10 video I put in like 10 to 15 hours worth of work in that thing and I think bare minimum I need like 50 hours worth of work to get into that and that's bare minimum but I've got Part of Saturday and this coming Sunday coming uh, available to me. I've got Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. I'm not talking about uh, after work any other day of the week, by the way. Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and the weekend following that. Um, and I've got some time. I've got some part of the day on Christmas on New Year's Eve, some part of the day on New Year's Day, and the weekend following New Year's Day. No, I don't even have that. I literally have part of the day on New Year's Eve to up get, make sure the video is done and uploaded. Because I want that top 10 of 2020 video to go out bare minute by on New Year's Eve 2020. <laughs> It is, of course, the holiday. Keep it, up. Nice. it is also, of course, the holiday. 
the holiday period. So, if my family dictates they want to do something during that period, they also get priority. Which means I might need to find, I might need to pull an all-nighter one of these, one of these weeks or weekends to get everything done. I hope I don't have to, but I don't have a small stockpile of energy drinks just for, just for collector's purposes. I've stayed up for 24 hours before. In fact, most uh, most days, most days, most Fridays and or Saturdays, whatever is the final work day, my work week right now, whatever that day is, I tend to wake up. When I wake up early, I somehow find myself staying up until for like 23, 24 hours. Just either talking with people or working on stuff. Wonderful. Don't Good stay up. Job. Don't stay up for 24 hours. Staying up for 24 hours is a bad idea. Okay. And it gets worse the older you Come get. On. Thank you, Lalo. I appreciate it. <sighs> With your legs bent slightly, squeeze. <sighs> but it will also, if it's not your bag, I will also warn you, Lalo, that okay. I do also do Let's Play content daily. And that is, uh, yeah. So be wary of that. If that's not your thing. Like, I try, I do try and do top tens more than once a year. Like, I try to do more than, uh, than, um, one top ten video a year. Just that this year, my, either my motivation or my mental well-being was kind of held in check by the events of the world. So, my... Ability to do more than one top 10 video this year was severely hampered. I'm plugging myself a little bit here. I'm playing myself here for you, mainly Lalo, but anybody else who's checking in, watching, and catching all this this uh, regurgitation of this this regurgitation of what my YouTube channel is. I mean, Lalo, I know you come from I, I know you come from Charles' server primarily, where he does animations, which take. We'll both argue that we spend more time on our craft and we, we'll both argue that the other person spends more time on our craft than the other person. I will say Charles takes more time animating. He'll say it takes more time putting out daily videos and we'll go back and forth on that. <sighs> but that's my, that's like my only focus is I do let's play videos. I don't do voice acting bits. Despite the fact I think I'm a voice actor. I don't do top tens very often. I don't animate. Like, I got nothing other than the Let's Play videos for the most part. Huh? 
Oh, anyway. Using green fit skills. Oh no, with balancing, the thing that I can't do, she will uh, encourage me to balance. What time is it? Holy crap. Look at them going exercising. 30 minutes? I. <laughs> This is weird. Like, I may show up my workout regimen when we get to the end. When I get to the end of what I want to do today. But it's so weird. My workout regimen feels tougher than this by a large margin. And this is, like, this is arguably easy. This is arguably supposed to be harder than your custom workout regimen. But my custom workout regimen... I kind of went overboard on some aspects. So now this just feels like easy. This just feels easy. Like, I do feel like I could do... I do feel like I could do this. I could do this for two hours. Straight. No problem. Oh, God. I've become Dylan. I've become Jesus Watts of full fame. Where two hours of ring fit doesn't seem like a problem. Oh God, send in the troops. Send in my help. Send my mommy. You got it. Oh no, I'm level 200. Heck. Oh. I don't even get to Oh, because I'm in the stage. I can't change out while I'm in the stage. I was like, why didn't I get to change my moves? Because I'm in the stage. Your moveset gets locked when you're in a stage. Good. Actually, does it? Yeah, okay, your, your moveset gets, gets locked when you're in a stage. Got it? I had forgotten about that. Like skill and oh, also the fact that I am in a skill-focused stage. Ha, ha, ha. Wouldn't it be funny if I remembered that? Boat? This? No. We're not doing boat. Hello, Raven. Legendary line. Okay, let's go. I can't roll my R's fluently. Ronda. Snooping as usual, I see. I need you to help me capture that blasted hedgehog! Guess your maliciousness! We're going through the whole cast now. Just know, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog is a drug, as is evident by the copious amount of YouTube poops out there.
start focusing on the yoga. At some point, maybe. Like, hold on. Let me do this really quick. Where is... Really? I mean, it is a possibility. So... Yeah. <laughs> also, hey, you can see all a majority of Scooter's library right now. Goated racing game. Toho? Uh, I have to look because it might be bur it's buried a little bit here. There's one, two, three, three Toho. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, yeah, Super Neptunia RPG. I got stuck. I got stuck in like the beginning town of that game because they don't. Exp there's not a very good indication of where you can go higher up or right and running. Which Neptunia games are on Switch? Because I am a purveyor of the series. Much like the Toho series. Purveyor, connoisseur. There we go. That's the word. I'm a connoisseur of the of the Neptunia series, but most of my collections on PC. Kind of, um, there's like the core series and then they have spin off series. The core series, I would equate, I would actually say, is close, most closely resembling to the Tales of series. Uh, earlier Tales of series, like pseudo RPG, pseudo real time action. Or like a combination of RP of, R of strategic RPG and real time action. There's spin-offs that kind of tackle every genre, but the biggest genre that the Neptune series tackles is actually the brawler or Musa fighter style of game. Not with like bases to capture and control, but just like the beat 'em up genre as a, as a general guideline. And then there's, and then there's Super Neptunia RPG that you saw there. Finish the thought in a minute. Slowly return to the starting position. Imagine opening your collarbone to the right and the left. Where Super Neptunia RPG plays like if Final Fantasy VI had a platforming segment to it. Or had a platforming overworld, I should say. A, Met a Metroid slash Castlevania overworld, rather. It's not very good. <laughs> I'm glad I bought it on the cheap, but it's not very good. What game I say is good in that series, of, of the spin-offs, 
is for goddesses online. It makes it makes so many uh, plays at being an MMO. It's not an MMO. It's a brawler, and it's a really fast brawler too. With online play. Squatted too long. It hurts. Um, but I'm not the end of my rope yet. Like I will say, there's a yes, it does. Like I don't know how I know the timer in the lower left may not seem like much, and I'm doing yoga stuff right now, so. This probably doesn't help, also I'm going to need this because I have no balance. <laughs> I'm cheating and using my chair because I have no balance to do this right. Taiko no Tatsujin. If I said that right. That's the uh I don't it's not called Kendo drum. I knew the name at one point. It's it's with that it's with that drum where you hit the uh sides in the center of it. That is that the one? Taiko? Okay. Oh it is called a Taiko, okay. Um I will say yes, Ring Fit Adventure does get you fit. Like, I'll show you right here in a second. In game time, I've been playing for close to 40 minutes. That's how many calories I've burned playing 40 minutes. And there's also the distance run, which is almost a mile. But I will also tell you that I am not, because of my normal workout regimen, I am not even gotten close. Not even remotely close to what I normally do when I'm not streaming and I have a day off from work. In terms of working out, like if calculations are to be believed, I do what this game considers four miles of running in place. I do four miles of running in place, uh, several copious amounts of squatting, as can be seen evident by what's going on in your screen right now. I need to get rid of that mal uh, malachite matter right, right away. Now this I can't do. Because I have poor balance. Like I'll, tr I'll try and do it just to show you guys what it is. This. I'm balancing, by the way. This doesn't happen. And there it goes. I was about to fall over. So I tried to do what they showed on the example there on the left. I can't hold my balance long enough to do that, so Slowly I'm currently bend. on the tiptoes of my left foot to replicate it. Slowly bend to the left. Slowly return to the starting position. Relax and avoid straining. Thank you. 
Uh, something okay, I will say, Raven, though, shot. is that I'm currently play. playing on max difficulty. So the game does kind of adjust itself based on what you can do as a person. But, of course, you do everything in stride and with caution, because the game's not going to know when you've passed out from exhaustion. But it does get you active. When I actually get to a stage that shows more active stuff, I'll explain it better there. Like right now, flexing, flexing my abs to guard. I wish I had more moves than what's here. Whatever, revolve cl crescent lunch time. Let's, let's go. Um, if you want, an, hold on, I'm gonna do this just so I can explain it. If you want another game that's not ring fit, there's another point I need to make on this. If you want another game that's not ring fit, that will get you moving, DDR, DDR or dancing games are all, always one. But if you don't want that, track down, track down the GameCube game Donkey Konga. Not the Wii version, the GameCube version, with the bongos. Excuse me, not Donkey Kong, guys. Donkey Kong Jungle Bee. Yeah, you know, like this pose right here was murder on my legs the first couple times I did it. And now this is kind of like normal place for me to do. Was it so now this is only hearsay from another account but um mr grandpa like mr standout beacon of light that is chucker conray in the let's play community has gone on record by saying that he is on a he's on an intense like he's on a quote unquote intense uh, straight training regimen and he finally played ring fit for the first time, like, uh, a week ago. And on the difficulty I'm playing on, he got winded, after, he got winded and had to stop after three stages. So, if that's anything to go by for a, for a, it doesn't get you physically active and working, something with a physical trainer telling you how to do it is just as rough, if not more rough, than a video game. Or other way around. A video game is just as rough, if not more rough, than, than something a physical trainer can give you.
and let's switch sides. Don't forget to switch legs. Also, it wasn't by, I will say, not by Ring Fit alone. I actually did, like, running on an elliptical, but Ring Fit has helped me keep my good health and my good figure that I worked hard for last year. So, if that's anything to go by. I, of course, do not look like Tip, the helper right there, but I'm not, I'm not 360 plus pounds anymore or threatening that in any regard. In fact, I'm threatening to go go down below 235 pounds this week if my workout regimen and eating regimen stays the same. Which some people may say, 235 pounds? That seems high. That seems really high. That sounds like too much weight. It is if you're like five foot two. But for someone like me, who's six foot two, 200 pounds, no muscle mass, is a healthy weight. I naturally have a decent amount of muscle mass on my body just by genetics. So approximately 230 pounds is my bottom line before I start looking unhealthy. Meaning I'm five to ten pounds overweight. <laughs> at at worst. I haven't been to a doctor since I dieted, so I don't know for a fact if I am at my target weight or not. And I can't really go see a doctor for something like this until world events <laughs> get handled. World events, of course, being pandemics. Go drink some water. Basically, you are not going to see a doctor right now unless you have what is called what is causing the pandemic or recovering from what is causing the pandemic. Otherwise, I'd be more than happy to go see a doctor to figure out if I am at weight, ah. underweight, or still overweight. In fact, I want to. Anyway, I got on a tangent. Chinese classes, though. Like, <clears throat> are you playing the dancing games because they have a Chinese subtitle thing, or are you playing it because you cleared all your classwork and you need and you get something to goof off for the last half hour of class? So this is the only way I could see you playing a dancing game, a dancing video game in class is you have nothing else to do. Oh, your class looks over, okay. Exactly what I said. Oh. oh, a coin. React and chase coin. Yep. I don't need the money that bad. Gotcha. Pokemon get to the oh, wrong job, wrong game, wrong game franchise. Good. 
Gurama. I'm still mad that her name that is Guru Anma. Guru Anma. Guru Anma. And she's the oldest member of the Gurus. Or Masters. Puns. They're here. Every pun is here! Unscathed Warrior 2 Poser. Stay free, loser. Depends upon the size of the bowl. Like, rice is all bread. Bread gives you energy, yes. But if you don't burn that energy, it makes you fat. Anyway, I would like to see my stats for now. I would like to see my stats quick because, yeah, that's close. I'm not even winded yet, though. That's the bad part. I'm not winded. I'm not... Like, hey. oh, hey, it's Abdonis. Yeah. I was hoping to find you. But yeah, it's like, I'm not remotely winded yet. I think I'll do Abdonis' thing. Also, I know I'll go through his text rather fast. Um, like, my normal workout regimen, like, I do, like I said, I do, I do like a four to six mile run. In, in place, right? Like, you're standing right here, running in place, four to six miles. So I do that, and then I do the game's skill set of ab set, waist set, chest set. And then I have another chest and thigh set on top of that that's like a miniature set that I set up. And the running and the chest and thigh set I set, have set up burn, like, 350 calories. And then those others on top of it, I feel like I burned 400, 450 calories. So I'm not even close to winning yet, but time-wise, I'm kind of getting close to the end of my time I can do this for today. Because I still have to eat dinner and prepare for tomorrow's work schedule. Oh. Dear mama's boy. He is, he is sad. But I was kind of hoping I would get to do this stuff because my midsection is probably where most of my fat sits still if I have any left. So doing this is what I would like to do. Unfortunately, the positioning of overhead twist lunge is a little off. Okay, let's go. Drop your hips. Whereas it won't give me a great on these after the first one. Not even on the first one. Well. Taro? Uh, oh, that's a that's a Dang and Rampa B3 character, one of the Bear Cubs. I think so, anyway. I don't know. I watched your friend play B3, but I never I never heard him play B3 because I was in a I was in a Skype or Discord call with him when he was doing it, so I didn't want to hear him twice. Okay. Listen. Okay. I can't. We can't talk much more about B3 without spoiling B3. But I have choice words to say about Good B3, job. where it's not awesome. all bad. Very nice. It gave us Gonta. who are horny on main ears. I think that's her name. Good job. Keep it up. The 
clad in pink, very crass lady who's a uh, blessed, we'll say. Well, just remember, I mean, we can still talk about it. We just can't. Uh, we just can't talk about it in okay, detail. Eru? Maybe I'm saying her name wrong. Engineer. The engineer chick who is very blessed, we'll say. Very, uh, Miyu. That's probably it. Who is very blessed and, uh, crass. You know, for the people who are horny, I mean. I think I missed you 32 months because I'm, I was in my no stream working point, working on my, my free time bit. But no, I mean, we can still talk about B3. Just remember, anything beyond chapter one is very much grounds for spoilers. Keep just remember that if you're gonna talk about Raven. But we can talk about it if you want to. Great! Nice. No, it's fine. You're fine. You haven't done anything wrong. Great! Nothing illegal has been done yet. still want to play through the Dang and Rapa series. It's Very a nice. it's a visual novel series where if you ruin the story of a visual novel, you don't have much okay. of a novel, do you? I mean you can talk about the characters and some of their Excellent. aspects, but what happens to those characters, okay. probably a bad idea. I'm I am encroaching on, on. on splits right Five. now by the way. Yes. One misstep and I'm doing the splits. Thank you for stopping by, Lalo. Thank you for subscribing. If you did, if you did actually, if you, forgive me for sounding like a rude person. If you did actually subscribe to YouTube, thanks for subscribing. If you didn't, whatever, I don't care. You are a person who will enjoy what you'll enjoy. I should not be here twisting your arm telling you do this thing, do it now. You should feel it in your stomach when you breathe out. Much like I'm definitely not twisting Far's arm to keep giving me five dollars a month. Okay. Right, Far. I, I did it first, Raven. You're fi you're fine. You didn't break the code. I did. See, and I don't know if you can see what you gave me. Okay. 
I wish you could look at my numbers before that went away. Why? I don't have any widespreading attacks. Bad. Fine. Yeah, th I think just because of the time, I think this will this will have to be the last stage I do just because I need to be in bed in about an hour. I should be in bed in about an hour is what I should say. And I still haven't eaten dinner and I need to clean up. As you can tell by the sweat stain on me, I need to clean up from this uh, workout session. But I will still try and show you my workout routine before I close everything off. So okay, let's stick around go. until the very end. I'll stick around until after the stage you want to see what I do when I'm not playing the adventure mode. Yes. Let's see. Okay, there's three things I want to say about B3 before before I let the subject die. And you can hold those opinions in your own regard, Raven, unless you think you can say something without spoiling the game. A, what the fuck is a cockchi? B, Gonta is the best boy and nobody can tell me otherwise. And C, Mahoya. As soon as I can stand up. Oh, one and three. Right. I'll repeat Amazing. myself, but you heard the go to part. That's the good part. Nice. Fantastic. Yes. Yes. One second. Nice. Oh, I went early. So, the first thing I said is, what the fuck is a kakchi, aka kokichi, and third thing I said is, mahoja. That's all you missed. Like I said, I've got a lot of gas in the tank right now, but I don't have the time. <laughs> okay, let's move. This will target your ass. Fine work. Shot. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. Nice. Oh. I'm exercising. It's gonna happen. I've been exercising in game time. Good job. 
for almost an hour. It's okay. gonna happen. Slim's doing in this. Well, I know how Slim's doing in this because he posts a status update every day. But yeah, I wonder how he's. I wonder. I wonder what his uh, regimen is. Excellent. For anybody who doesn't know what I'm talking about, uh, Slim Kirby. He's been, he's, been he's been playing this game finally, as of like two and a half months ago. Okay. And he's posting daily sure. status updates about it. One, I'm proud of him. Because he's... I don't want to sound negative. But I'm proud of him because he's taking control of his health, I'll say. As nicely as I can put it. I'm proud of him for, act, for actually playing this game. To get, to get control of his health. Very nice. That and he is making Perfect. hella good progress. Great. On his daily workouts. And again, I need no ill will against okay. the guy. My phrasing is just terrible. I have no ill will against him. I am proud of him. Fine work. Awesome. Somebody's gonna clip, gonna clip that out of context and throw it at him like I'm throwing shade. So I'm saying constantly, I have no ill will towards him. Actually, no, actually, I should say, I'm, mega, I'm super proud of Slim Kirby and other people that I have minor connections with. I say minor in that I may have talked with them once in the past, but they, I don't know, I feel like Slim Kirby and his community has sparked so many people to actually get control over their health and I am all for this. Two years ago, I would have been saying the exact opposite thing. But now, no way, man. I am so happy people are using either this game or their own determination otherwise to take control over their life and their health. Now we're in game. I think where's what we're gonna hit tonight.
Yep. No need to rush, though. This definitely put me at the end of my rope for tonight. Whew. You should feel it in your stomach, not your arm. Also, I think I just now realized a moment too late that they're giving enemies more health than they normally would for this because it's ab focused and making you guard against more enemy attacks makes you use your abs more. Don't think I didn't notice that. Hi healer. Hi, healer slime. You ready to goo down? Raise and lower your arm. Raise up. Lower down. 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 This will target your ass. Raise up. Lower down. Raise up. Lower down. Raise up. Lower down. Raise up. Lower down. Halfway there. Did I make a Dragon Quest pun? You sure as hell didn't know I did. My abs hurt. Send a sustancia. Remember how I won the last time I did this? I said don't ever just one more. I think I did I think I did it just one more and I'm regretting every second of it. jump through. We'll get up to that one hour mark at some point. Well done. Kicking and screaming the whole way, we'll get there. Okay. Perfect. Okay. I was worried you guys didn't have sound because I can't hear my headphones right now.
levels. Keep it up. Yes. Yeah. Come on. Well done. Great. Five more. Keep it up. Okay. Three. Very nice. Great. One left. Nice. You made it. Stand up. Rush? Nope. No need to rush, though. No rush. No rush yet. With your legs bent slightly, squeeze. Oh. Lucky break. Overhead lunge. <laughs> okay, let's go. Kiss your body while breathing out. Also, I'm mad. Where, where's my revolve crescent lunges? I got a five attack, a five grid attack, and everybody else's challenge. Where's my, where's my Russian twists? Huh? Where's my Russian twists? A very basic core element of an ab workout. You know what? We'll take it. That's an hour. <laughs> One hour of ring fit. You know what I could do? Just to pad it? No, I won't. I could have just sat squat, but you know what? That's close enough to an hour. Let's see what Pulse Man says. Measuring. Please do not move your thumb. Pulse man says, very pulsy. Bull. Also, mommy's boy learned too late. Finish. <sighs> and let's see those final stats. Oops. Oh god. Oh god. No, don't do it, ring. No! I am the warrior, bang, bang. Victory is mine. Oh, guys, doing it again. The warrior. 3,000 squats. And that's just in the adventure mode, by the way. This doesn't count anything I've done in my custom workout sets, which I still have to show you guys. Right, we're not done yet. I still have to show you my custom workout set on stream. Just so anybody thinks you're not working out can be quiet because I'm doing where I'm working, I'm working out. <laughs> Listen, you get, most of you guys who are watching don't care if I'm working out or not. You just love me for who I am. As facetious as that is, there are people who will come into here looking specifically for reasons to knock me down pegs. Trolls, if you will. begin our static stretching you won't need the ring con be mindful of your body and stretch within the range of your ability spread your feet raise both hands and hold your left wrist 
while pulling on your wrist. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do right this stretch here. And stretch your side. Cause I am done for the day, but I did promise you what my custom on stream at least to see my custom workout. Return to your original but position. while we get to that point, hands and bend God, the I sound like way. the car. I sound like the Super Mario Brothers cartoon Bowser. While we get to that point. Don't hold your breath. I guess I had it better earlier like this. Yeah, I like that. Anyway, um, did anybody want to ha have any questions they wanted to ask me before Bring I wrap things up for slowly. the evening? Um, something Join I will say and reiterate on in front of you. is I am still, your glutes, still, if you're going to sit down, I am still your not forward. planning on streaming on Saturdays or Mondays still until my top 10 video is done and uploaded or uploading. Bring yourself back slowly. Put your hands on your lower back as if supporting it. Gently tilt your upper body so, backwards, but don't lean back more than is comfortable. When that moment has been reached, your knees slightly to keep them loose. I'll return back to my normal stream schedule. Bring yourself of back slowly. Monday, Thursday, Saturdays. Bring your feet together but and loosen up. This was Bend forward while breathing out. This Once was the uh one Breathe exception I'm making because I've been Hold neglecting like my Thursday workout streams with you guys. Bend your knees slightly and raise your body bit by bit from your lower back until you're upright. Widen your stance, place your hands on your knees, and drop your hips. Rotate your left shoulder inward and extend your left hip joint. Ow, I'm pulling my elbow out of socket. facing forward. Now stretch your right hip joint too. Point your knees and toes outward. Okay, I need to stop. My right knee's hurting. Bring yourself back slowly. Ugh, I'm going to mess up the tendons in my right knee again. And your stretching is complete. So yeah. Good job. When the video, when the top 10 video is done, I'll be returning. I'll be returning to regular, regular streaming days. But as of right now, no, I can't. Still, I'm still. As I, I still want to say, I'm behind on most of my stuff, or on most of that stuff. Anyway, so just to show you, normally what I do on my day off is I do this waist set on hardcore. This abs set on hardcore. Uh, this chest set on hardcore. And this is like the last three things I do. If I have enough gas in the tank, I'll go to the core set, which is pretty above and beyond, but it handles all aspects of your body. And then in my fitness list, in my fitness list, I have this run I go on, which is, with other intermittent exercises, is four to six miles of running in place. And I also do this to get some extra work on my po my posture, my shoulders, and a little extra for my educators or the area between my thighs. That's my daily reps, and I think that is that is like 150 calories more than what I just did today. Anyway. It is the end of the stream. It is the end of the stream. So, how about we see where we can get you guys for the evening? And again, like always, you guys choose where the stream heads for the evening. Of the people that I'm following, I should say. So, your choices tonight are, um, I will tell you, a lot of people I'll just name days. I'll just name days. Um, or name people. Uh, Ultimate 24, Bond of Games, Botanic Sage, and Resident Hearts are all streaming our Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Doing varying degrees of beating Sephiroth with every character, playing as Sephiroth, and anything in between there. Nakata Lili is playing Minecraft. The title is Spider Farm, so I have no idea what exactly Naka is doing. 
And lastly, friend of mine, Fairy Blitz Studios. Uh, she is playing Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Uh, if I send you guys over there, I'm going to dip out immediately because I've not played a whole lot of the game and I don't want to get spoiled on the game more than I already have. So, to repeat everything, uh, I'm going in order of who has viewers at this point. Alternate 24, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Not completely, Minecraft. Bond of Games, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Botanic Sage, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Resonant Hearts, aka Platinum Rhythm, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And Barry Blitz Studios, Age of Calamity. Do you guys have a preference? If you don't have a preference, I'm probably going to raid Barry Blitz Studios. And dip out almost immediately. Now I should actually tab over to you guys on my tabs so I can actually see what you guys are saying. If any of you have any preference. I will wait a minute while I unset up my setup. Alright, no preference. I'm seeing no preference. Also, I'm going to send you guys over to Barry Blitz then. Um, Barry Blitz, I say friend, actual friend. She's a high school friend of mine. We still, we, even though we've grown up as adults and kind of gotten into strange contacts a little bit, we're still good high school buddies and we still collaborate a bit as, well, creative entities, I guess now. <laughs> so, let's go give her some, let's go give her some friends. Really? Hey you. Hey you both. There she is. Alright, so say hi to her. Hi to Jessica. If Jessica is a real name. I don't know if she cares or not. But yeah, so thank you all for coming out tonight. Uh, keep your eyes on Twitter if I'm going to stream again. Keep your eyes on Twitter if I'm going to stream again next Thursday, aka Christmas Eve. But that's the only other day I think from now to the end of the year that I'm gonna for, that I'm going to for sure stream. Everything else hinges upon completing that top ten video. Anyway, you folks have a great night. I'm gonna go clean up and eat dinner. Later.